roughly on return on their unsuccessful shooting game device, the two ashes found Rod and Orwell haranguing the hind, who on the flight their leader would have taken to their heels likewise, if they had not been detained, partly by the energetic effort of Sparshot and the groom, and partly by the excitation and menaces of the magistrate and Alden. As it was, two or three contrived to get away and fled across the moor, whither the three pretended to pursue them, while those left behind were taken sharply to task by Rod and Orwell. Listen to me, he cried, and take good heed to what I say, for it concerns you nearly. Strange and dreadful things under my observation on my way. I have seen an old village and by a plague, a poor peddler deprived of the use of his little in the peril of his life, and a young maiden, once deprived an ornament of your own village, snatched from upon barber's care, and born to an untimely grave. These things I have seen with my own eyes, and I am resolved that the perpetrators of these enormities, mothers, demdi, and chattops, shall be brought to justice. As to you, the deluded victim of the impious types, I can easily understand why your eyes, their evil doing, terrified by their threats, you submit to their exaction, and to become their slaves, slaves upon slaves of Satan. What miserable servant! You is this. By so doing, you not only endanger the welfare of your soul by leading with the enemies of heaven, rendering yourself worthy class with a religious and Christian people, but you place your lives in jeopardy by becoming accessories to the crimes of great offenders, and render yourselves liable to like punishment with them. Seeing then the imminency of the peril in which you stand, you will do well to avoid it while there is yet time. Nor is this your only risk. Your service due to Mistress Dutt is equally perilous. What if she be born of the land till and the watch ten or uh, no? Fealty. She is fortified all time to your service, and so far from aiding her, you ought to regard her as a great criminal, whom you are bound to bring to justice. I have now incontestable proofs of her dealing in black art, and can show that by witchcraft she has all the base of this country, with the intent to rob me of my land. Olden now told the the finger of heaven is pointed against the robber, and he cried, Cursed is he, save the scripture, that removeth his neighbour's landmark, and again is written, Cursed is he, that smite his neighbour's secret. Both these things have mistress done, and both shall she incur divine event. Neither shall she escape that of man, and all well severely. For our sovereign Lord, have an that all persons employing or rewarding an evil spirit shall be guilty of elderly and shall be there, and death will be her portion for such demonical agency. More assuredly, have she employed the magistrate here for us for a moment to regard his audience, and reading their terrified love that is addressed and due to desire and depression, he continued to increase severity. These wicked women shall trouble the land no longer, they shall be arrested and brought judgment, and if you do not heartily bestir yourself in their capture, and will take to appear in evidence against them, shall be held and dealt with as accessories to their crime. Upon this, the hands who were greatly alarmed, declared with one for their willingness to act as a magistrate direct. You do wisely, cried Ross, who by this time had made his way back to the assembly, which was on Edwin. As on his former misadventure, Mistress Nutter and the two old house old Jimmy and Roll will lead you to such a understand it is the firm determination of my respect client, Master Roy Norwell, as well as of myself, not relaxing our exertions to the whole these pestilent women who trouble the country, be swept away, and spared none who assist and hold them. The hind said the ghast, for so grim was their appearance of the attorney, that they almost thought of her, so who her mind was addressing them. At this moment, old Henry Mitter came up. He had partially recovered from the sunny vex of blow dealt him by James Device, but his head was stone and his right locks were dabbled in blood. Pushing his way through the assembly, he stood before the magistrate. If you want a witness again, that foul murderous and weak I'll listen to cat me, Master Roy Norwell, he said. I can't take my Bible all that the whole face of this country has been changed since yesternight by her condy war. Cat me also to speak to her former life, to her intimacy with Mother Demi and old Chattox. Call me through her constant attendance at Devil's Sabbath on Pendle Hill and elsewhere with other black damning offences on among her the murder by witchcraft of her husband Chatter. A thrill of horror pervaded the assemblage at this denumication. Master Potts, who had been cleansed from his sable stains by one of the cried out, This is the very man for us, my excellent client. Your name and abode, friend. Harry Mitten Rugley, by the old man. I had well there seventy years was, and I know the favour and grand favour of Chatter, and also Alice Nutter. When who was Alice Ashton? Call me, sir, and I ye want to know, ye shan't learn. We will call you my friend, said Potts, and if you have sustained any private wrongs from Mr. they shall be amply readdressed. I have endured much at her haunts, rejoined the mitten, for I had done a speak of myself. It be high time that old scratch had his law clip, and honest for be allowed to live in peace. Very true, my word, and very true, assented Potts. An immediate return to Worley was now paused by Norwell, but Master Potts was of opinion that, as they were in the neighbourhood of Mount Tower, they should proceed thither at once, and effect the arrest of Mother Debbie, after which Mother Chattox would be sought out and skewered. The presence of these two wishes would be most important, he declared, in the examination of Mr. You and Cry for the duty James Device ought also to be made through Wild Forest, compiled by what they heard Richard and Nicholas had hitherto taken no part in the proceedings, they now seconded Master Hotz's proposition, hoping that the time of high by the visit to Mount Tower would prove serviceable to Mrs. Nutter, but they did not doubt that intelligence would be conveyed to her by some other agents of Norwell's intent to arrest her. Additional encouragement was given to the plan by the arrival of Richard Baldwin, who at this juncture roared furiously to the party. Well, and you settled your business here, Mr. Norwell, he asked in breathless anxiety. We have so far settled it that we have established 
Holy Cruz of the Track against Mistress of the Blind Oh well, can you speak to a character of Baldwin? Yeah, that I can't join the Miller and Noble. I wish to see how the mischievous wishes burn, and that's why I have ridden after you, Master Noble. I want your help as a magistrate against Mother and be your heart constable with you, and so can arrest her at what you have come most opportunely. Baldwin observed past we were just considering whether we should go to Mal Tower, then decide upon it to join the Miller or the old hag when the escape. I take her unawares. I don't know that we shall take her unawares, Baldwin said past. I am decidedly of opinion that we should go thither without delay. His mountain tower far off, about a mile from the lead by the mill. Go back with me to the mill where you can refresh yourself and get together some dozen of my friends and then we all go to the tower together. A very good suggestion, said Potts, and no doubt Master Norwell will accede to it. We have all seen it already, it appears to me, observed Norwell. I should think so, replied Richard. Some dozen men armed against a poor defenseless old woman are surely an old but not defenseless master should join all men. Can I go I to raid force on an exhibition like this? Mountain Tower is a very strong place, as you find. Well, said Norwell. Well, since we are here, I agree with Master Potts that it would be better to secure these two offenders and convey them to Wally, where their examination can be taken at the same time with that of Mr. Nutter. We therefore accept your offer of refreshment, Baldwin, as some of our party may stand in need of it, and will at once proceed to the mill. Well resolved, sir, said Potts. Why not take the old witch dead of a law alive? cried Baldwin. Alive we must have her alive, Baldwin, said Potts. We must see her perish at the stake. Great man, cried Miller, his eyes blazing fury. That's true vengeance, and arrive home and get her ready for you. You're not a roar, so saying he struck spurs into his and galloped off. Scarcely was he gone than the reed who had kept out of his sight came forward. Since you were resolved upon going to Mal Tower, he said, Norwell, you have a sufficiently numerous party for the purpose. My further attempt to be dispensed with, I will ride his search in by do so, replied the magistrate, and let you and cry he made a happen. It shall be replied the and he taken he shall be conveyed to Wallen, and he made towards the as if with the intention of putting his words into execution. The word was now given to set forward, and Master Potts, having been accommodated with a horse by one of the roofs who proceeded on whole party, began to trace their course mill. They were soon again by the side of Pendle Water, and he alone. As they rode through the lords at the back of the mansion, Roger Norwell halted for a moment and observed with a smile to Richard, Never more shall Miss Winter enter that house. Within a week she shall be lodged in Lancaster Castle, a spellman of the dark side, and she shall meet a bell's face. And not only shall she send thither, but all her partners guild, mother them deep, and her her through the device. All Chattox and her granddaughter and her Not one shall escape. Do not include Alice's device in this library. I include all I will say, Roger Norwell, sir. Then I will move. How right, Norwell? Are you an older of which you beware that do your mind? Beware how you take part of them. You will bring suspicion upon yourself and get entangled in a net which you will not easily escape. I care not what may happen to you, John Richard. I will never lend myself to your sister, such as you are about practice. Since the announcement of your intention of including the incest to be guilty of exterminating a whole family around one or two of the members, I have done you have made dark accusations against this result. You have proved nothing. You assert that I will actually change the future of your life. But in what way can you make the charge? Old Mitten has he volunteered himself as a witness against her, and has a curse her. Of most heinous offences, but he has at the same time shown her that he is her enemy, and his testimony will be guarded in doubt. I will not leave her guilty on mere suspicion, and I deny that you have old more to proceed on. I shall not argue the point you now, sir, replied Norwell angrily. Mr. Sutter will be fairly tried, and if I fail in my proof against her, she will be acquitted. But I have little fear of the result he added with a sinister smile. You are confident, sir, because you know there will be every disposition to find her guilty, replied Richard. She will not be fairly tried. All the prejudices of ignorance and superstition, heightened by the foolish opinions of the king, will be arrayed against her. Were she as free crime or court crime as the new bomb bay on charge of horrible and inexplicable events of witchcraft. She would scarce escape. If you go determined to destroy her, I will not deny it, said Roger Well, and I am satisfied that I shall render good service to society by bringing it on so vile a member. So abhorrent is the crime of witchcraft that were my own suspected, I would be the first to deliver him justice. Like a noxious and poisonous plant, the events has taken deep root in its trend, and is spreading its baneful influence around. That if it be not extirpated, it may spring up a new cause, incalculable mischief, but it shall now be effectually checked on families I have mentioned, no one shall escape. And if Mistress Nutter herself had a daughter, she should be brought to judgment. In such cases, the children must suffer for the sin of parents. You have no regard then for their innocence, said Richard. Felt as if a way of calamity was pushing down. Their innocence must be proved and promised right, you know, rejoined in all well. It is not for me to judge them, but you do judge them, cried Richard sharply. In making the charge, in order that you pronounce a sense of condemnation as well. This is why the humane man, why the just man, would hesitate to bring accusation, even where he suspects the guilt, where suspicion not possibly attached. He would never suffer himself, however urged on by feeling of animosity to your innocence. You ascribe most unworthy motives, you serve well, sir. I am influenced only by a certain desire to see justice administered, and I shall not swerve from my duty because my humanity may be called in question by a little sick boy. I understand why you plead us warmly for these infamous persons. You are enthralled by the beauty of the young witch, Alice. 
Watson divine. I noted how you were struck by her yesterday, and I heard what Sir Thomas Metcalf said on subject. Take heed what you may jeopardize your soul and body in the evil of this fatal passion, which wrath is exercised in many ways. Its professors have not only power to maim and kill, and to do all the active mischief, but to ensnare the affection and endanger the soul of their victim. By enticing them to the world, Alison Device is only to be no doubt. Who shall say when certainty is derived? Hell may have arrayed her in his face, John. Sin is mutual to all history, and the time will come when may find for delivering him of the snares of this guilty sign. Richard uttered an angry exclamation. Not now, I do not expect him. You are too much to stop by her. You know, and what I conjure you to cast off this wicked and senseless passion, which unless checked will lead you to perdition. You have heard what abominable rise practices at those holy meetings called devil sabbaths, and how can you say that steam may not be your rival in Alex's love? You pass all lies to serve by vision in fury years of past endurance, and you do not instantly retract the infamous accusation you remain neither your age nor your office shall take you. I can fortunately protect myself, you man, by no well called there, and if all were wanting to confirm my suspicion that you were under some evil influence, it would be supplied by your friend Connor, you are bewitched by this girl. It is all right, which man he raised his hand against my friend when Nicholas Wing he called me in the price why this was not even take on me in bed for girl. And stoutly as yourself, since Master Roger Norwell told to see you at I shall likewise take leave to retire. Your pardon, sir, John Norwell, will not be brought till I debate Master Richard Ash to forget a lie of the respect to age and constituted authority. I venture to raise his hand against me, for which if I do, I have placed him in immediate arrest. I have no intent on the contrary. I am willing to overlook the insult attributed to his friends there by which he is possessed. For he and you, Master Nicholas, are mistaken if you swore I would make you retire. As a magistrate, the exercise of my office, I call on board a capture of two stories. Zeddy and Shatter, and not you desist, or depart me, those who catch you, better to your penalty of you. Every fine or imprisonment, and the option of my stream, or part of my cousin Nicholas, will do as he pleases, or serve Richard. But on my part, I will not serve a set father, nor will I add a Nicholas, unless I have mastered no well solemn pledge that he will take no proceedings against Alice's device. Give him such a sure sir, with some part, seeing that my straight way in his revolution. You must go then, said no well. Take the consequences of your refusal to act with me. Your relationship to Mr. Snutter will not tell in your favour. I understand the implied threat, said Nicholas, and laugh at it. Richard, lad, I am with you. Let him catch the witches himself, he can and will not budge an inch farther with him. Farewell, then, gentlemen, replied Roger Well. I am sorry to part company with us, but when next meet and he paused, we meet as enemies, I presume, replied Nicholas. We meet no longer as friends joined by Sir Colin. With this, he moved forward with the rest of the troop, while the two Ashtons, after a moment's consultation, passed through a gate and made their way to the back of the mansion, where they found one or two men on the lookout, from whom they received intelligence, which induced them immediately to spring on their horses and hurry into the house. Arrived at the principal end of the mansion, which was formed by the large gates of an iron work, admitting a view of the garden onto the house, Roger Norwell again called the to master parts at his west, address the porter and two other serving men who were standing in the garden in this fashion. Pay attention to what I say to you, my men, cried in a loud and authority voice. The warrant has been issued for the arrest of Alice Nutter, probably in whose service you have hitherto dwelt, and who in charge with the rebel crime or which are with invoking content and covenanting with entertaining, employing, eating, and rewarding evil spirits contrary to the laws of God and man, and in express violation of his majesty's statute. Now take notice that if she said Alice Nutter shall at any time hereafter return to this uh, former abode or take refuge within it, you are hereby bound to deliver her up or with the dear result. To be by him brought for the worship of Master Roger Norwell of me in this country, so that she may be examined by him on the charges. You hear what I have said. The men exchanged significant glances, made no reply. Parts was about to address them to his surprise. He saw the central wall of the house of Norwell and Mr. Sturdy shook as she marked the wall lay and jesting lay down the broad rabble wall for the gate. The attorney could scarcely believe his eyes and explained to the magic who would have ordered this. We have a saved now. I have no corresponding smile laid on Norwell's heart. His gaze was fixed wiringly on the lady. Another surprise on the same door issued out this by a so by Nicholas Richard Ashton walked on each side of her, and three followed into the slowly down the road walk. Such a display seemed to argue with one confidence. Alice did not look towards the outside gate, but seemed listening eagerly to what she was saying to her. So Master Norwell cried to the ball there. Since you find yourself beaten in the claim you have made against my project, you were seeking to revenge yourself, I understand, by bringing charge against me as false as they are calumnious. So I defy your malice, and defend myself against your violence. If I could be astonished at anything you might have managed to be at your daughter, rejoined Norwell. But I am glad that you have presented yourself for me, for it was my fixed intention to return to all and cause your arrest, and your unexpected appearance here enabled me to my design to execution somewhat sooner than I anticipated. Mistress Nutter laughed somberly. As far as shot for keeper rate to Norwell, enter those gates and arrest the lady in the kitchen. The beadle looked irresolute, he did not like the task. The gates are fast by Mistress Nutter, force them open and roll Norwell. This mountain shaped them furiously. Bring me a heavy sword. By heaven, I will not be bold on my prey. My servants are armed, cried Mistress Nutter, and the first man who enters shall pay the penalty of rashness with life. Bring me a petronel black adder. The order was from the young by the baby, the sentry was stationed near the gate. I am in earnest, said Mistress Nutter, aiming the petronel.
for now and seldom miss my mark. Give attention to me, my men, cry what you want. I charge you in the king's name for all the gates, and I charge you in mine. Keep fast, rejoin Mr. Dunn. We shall see who will be obeyed. One of the grooms now advanced with a large storm, taken from an adjoining wall, which grew with great force against the gates. The door is shut then violently. The last sittings continued. The Black Eider and the two other serving men, all who were armed with halberds, now advanced to the gates, crossing the points of their weapons through bars to roll back those who were near them. A short confrontation now took place between Norwell and Hoss, after which the latter, taking care to keep out of the reach of the halberd, thus delivered himself in a loud voice. I listened to her in order to avoid the serious consequences which might ensure were the necessary measures taken to effect forceful entrance to your habitation. The worshipful master Norwell has forced fate to assume an hour's respite for reflection. At the expiration of which time, he trusts that you have seen the futility of resisting the law and will quietly yield yourself prison. Otherwise, no further leniency will be shown to those who may hold you in your tomb and say, Mistress Nutter laughed loudly and contemptuously. At the same time, the shirt hearts on the suggestion of my dream. Master Roger Norwell demands that Alice divide the daughter of Elizabeth by whom he behold in your company. Likewise, the which I be likewise delivered to him. Old Mark inquired his daughter, only this blood in a taunting tone. The worshipful magistrate would offer a friend counsel to Master Nicholas Ashton, Master Richard Ashton, whom to his infinite surprise he perceives in a hostile position before him. That they in no wise interfere with his injunction, but on the contrary, lend their aid in furtherance of them. Otherwise, he may be compelled to adopt measures toward them, which must be a source of regret to him. I have furthermore to say on the part of his worship that strict watch will be kept at all the approach of your house, and that no one on any pretense whatsoever during the appointed time of respite will be suffered to enter it or depart in an hour. His worship will return, and in an hour he shall have my answer, replied Mr. Turning away.